by messing around with that side because almost every time I try, I just get spiked. I just die. No, it's actually pretty simple, like especially if they're side being to the ledge. Mm. Very vulnerable. Oh, yeah, big time because they don't automatically snap. Yeah. So you can just, like, insta-pin it and just kill them. It's kind of nice, but... Yeah, but the up B, that's where you know, the di real difficulty comes in. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But enough about Wolf. We have Razo and Sweet Tea coming up. So we're going to get Peach versus Pokemon Trainer. Yeah, I like how he's not just, <laughs> it's not going to be uh, Peach and Pichu. He just goes straight into his main because uh, I've been seeing uh, Sweet Tea go into his Pichu just to test the waters a little bit, but he's not messing around now. All right, and he's starting off with the Squirtle as well. And I, I like Squirtle for um, for Daisy. I, I would anticipate that he keeps out Squirtle for a little bit longer than uh, than usual. Why do you like Squirtle for Daisy? I like it because he's a lot smaller and he can combo Daisy almost as well. Because like Nair will just go right over Squirtle. I mean, I mean, you can space it properly, but it's a little harder to hit the little guy. I mean, I'm pretty sure if he flow cancels Nair, it's still gonna connect. Yeah, I mean, he's still gonna get Daisy combos off on Squirtle. Oh yeah, you can't escape the Daisy combo no matter who you are. But it's a little easier. It's it's a little easier for Squirtle to kind of maneuver around. And being able to get that water gun is pretty sweet too. But he got his damage and he's going into the Ivysaur now. Ooh. Okay, good parry from that back air. Now Ivysaur, of course, playing the zoning game. That's kind of what you got to do. And that's one of the trademarks of Ivysaur. It's just like, if you are able to raise relief and still be maneuverable and still try to control that center stage, then you're in a pretty good spot. Or at least it means that you can practice in. Woo. Okay, going over. Okay. Ooh, oh. good shield damage from... From Razo. That shield was a skittle. Oh my god, he almost got that thing broken, but he got that up there, taking him out. I mean, he'll convert off Razor League. It's really a gift for, for Ivysaur, but getting popped up from that tether grab. Ch uh, Charizard saving the day. Uh, that uh, Razor Lure, the Ivysaur's up B would not have helped him there at all. <gasps> wow, okay, that makes sense though, because like a lot of things can just kind of contest that, uh, that Flare Blist uh, from far away. Getting him with that that <laughs> that turn up and just completely dominating him in that stock. Yeah, that turn was looking real strong, and sending Sweet Tea all over the stage. Mm. But there's that Nair into down tilt. Not really able to get convert too hard, but still 40%, 50% onto Squirtle. That's that's big damage. Oh yeah, definitely on a character like Squirtle. And I I just love how down B is like that frame one option that you can just do to get away. And whoa, did you see how that Razor Leaf just completely terminated that uh, turn up? That was really good for uh, from Sweet Tea. Yeah, projectiles just clanking out. Oh, man, he's really proficient with that. Yeah, he's making good use of a wall. I mean, wow, great DI is Toad not able to take the stock. Mm. I wonder if Razo's going to be privy to that. Uh, oh, yeah, that's death. I wonder if Razo's going to be privy to the uh, to the way that Sweet Tea is just contesting those turnips off stage because a lot of Ivy Stars like to do that. It's just like if you want to come after me, I'm gonna hit you with that razor. Quick damage too. Look at this. That's right, forcing Sweet Tea off Squirtle and bringing out the Ivy Sword once again. Nice. Trying to get that up B. Not quite getting it, but he got some damage and he's got that stage control as well. It's just like Razo has the turnips to be able to compete with uh, with Ivy Sword's uh, Razor Leaf. Okay, I like the patience from uh, Sweet Tea. Like, as he's approaching, he's still, he knows when to press his buttons. And just look at the way he's spacing. He knows that Raz is not going to go for the roll re or the roll just for the position that he's taking up. And he's still able to pressure with, uh, you know, the up B if Raz decides to jump on the ledge or Razor Leaf if he goes neutral get up with crawling down, dropping with a Nair, being able to take Raz's second stock. That was dope. That was something I didn't expect at all. And it, it was cool because he was able to make it uh, back anyway without switching to Charizard. And that has its implications because, like, if he had to switch all the way back to, like, Squirtle or whomever would have worked, uh, that, that, that could, that could kind of suck for Sweet Tea. Razo could kind of take advantage of that. Okay, forward air connecting for Razo. Ooh, yeah, the jumps. I think Razo's starting to see these jumps from Sweet Tea. Yeah, he's even really uh, trying to scope him out because... You can see he's waiting for Sweet Tea to jump on the ledge. He continues to jump high up. Yeah, Razo's catching him every time. Hey, this is interesting. I see what he's trying to do with the counter here. Or maybe that could have been in his input. Who knows? Another jump option from Sweet Tea at the ledge. You're going to see another one. Neutral get up, but gets covered by turn up. Okay, trying to do the old special. Okay. And yeah, putting Razo away. Here's that grab. Oh. 
Down throw into Vine Whip. So strong. No, that's got to be death. Yeah, the booty bump. That takes that out. Whew. Yeah, game one will go to Razo. I mean, getting booty bumped by Daisy isn't like the worst one. Yes, man. Yeah, back throw is pretty strong. I mean, Peaches have, you know, always had decent kill setups from mm. throws. Mm -hmm. I think back throw is like the best kill throw that she has, no? Uh, yeah, I believe so, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I'm afraid of. Anything that involves the butt, like seriously, like if you're going to play Daisy, learn how to float cancel bear. It is one of the best things you can learn starting out, I think. It's a great out of shield option. It does a bunch of damage to you. I think it does like 15. And just the fact that I was talking to Korean about this on Monday, you get full hop damage by short hop floating yes. with, with Daisy. When you float cancel, yes. And that is so... I. Like, listen, I don't throw out the word broken a whole lot, but that's actually broken if you ask me because that that seems like an oversight because, like, no other character has that. I'm all for, like, unique mechanics, but my god, that, I don't know, seems like a bit much, but we're going into Pichu. How do you, how, do you like Pichu here? I do. I feel like they're able to really uh, combo each other pretty heavily. Mm. The fact that Nair, or up there into down air connects, um, at really prime percents, uh, we'll make this matchup a little bit more doable. And I actually feel like Sweet T is going to be able to play a little bit more aggressive here if he decides to. I agree. Yeah, he's going to be a, a moving, you know, very mobile little target. And those hitboxes that Pichu has are deceiving. Like, I've seen forward air hit from, like, the back of Pichu. So, I mean, like, I don't know if Razo, how, how well versed in this matchup Razo is. But right now, Razo's kind of uh, taking it. And Sweet Team not, not trying to hide what move he's trying to end the stock with. He's throwing out a lot of Ethos, just waiting for one of them to connect. Nair out of shield is going to connect for Sweet Team, just giving him stage control. Now setting up the ledge traps once again. We're going to see a forward throw and no, no follow-up required. Yeah, it just kills. You know, I, I honestly did not even know if P2 had a kill throw. I mean, if you consider that a kill throw, like 160 with Rage. Well, I also feel like that was more of a DI mix-up from Sweet Tea because typically we'll see like down throw or up throw from the from Pichu's trying to you know, convert into a thunder. But ah. he just straight up went for a, a forward throw. Yeah, he's a really high percent. I mean, there's there's just a point where you just can't even really do combos anymore. They just getting sent so far. All right, getting sent far, we see Sweet Tea falling off the stage, getting pushed off with a few nares. Did you see that down air? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> down air is ridiculous. Woo! In fact, if uh, Razo had been hit by the top of that down, uh, the down B, he would have just straight up died. Yep, big time. That was some really good spacing with that forward tilt as well. I mean, Razo was pretty, uh, pretty prepared for it. He got that shield out. You really just have to have that shield out pretty much at all times if you're not going to be moving and floating around trying to go over Pichu. And using the F tilt. Just to give a little bit more stage control, and the back air is going to poke Razo's shield. That was perfect. That sent him right where he needed him to go, too. Okay. Oh, I thought we were going to see that grab there. Razo was basically begging for him to get grabbed. Another nair of the shield. A lot of use from, from Sweet Tea. Mm. Okay, whiffing the grab. And spot dodge city. Okay, nair's trying to cover the legs, but our tilt does connect. Yeah, you know, I really thought those dares were going to get them, too. They just last for such a long time. Woo! Yeah. Me too, but if you're able to utilize the invulnerability flames, frames, you can just uh, get up right in between them. Yeah, yeah. After after a while, you start to uh, get pretty good at that. Nice, and Raz is really controlling the stage right here. Ooh, overextended a little bit. Yeah, and Sweet Tea definitely has the control now. Yeah, a couple up airs into a down air, trying to get a reset. And this is so hard because, like, when you're getting comboed by Pichu, you you start to panic a little bit, and you want to take any options that you can to get the hell out of there. You know, you can do Nair dodge, or Nair, just an actual attack. It's really tough. Well, Toad's coming in. He's going to relieve a little bit of pressure for Razo. Okay. Ooh. Took advantage of uh, Sweet T's position there and got the, the booty bump at that back air. Ooh. Oh, wow. He got hit by both the turnip and the nair, I think. I I think he got hit by the turnip as well. That might have actually been just enough damage to get that kill with that nair. Well, Razo going to go up 2-0. And you know what? After watching game two with Sweet T's Pichu, I feel like he can do it with Pichu. 
I feel like he should stick with Pichu, but we're probably going to see uh, character switch. Yeah, I, I definitely think he can do it with Pichu as well. But I, I definitely don't hate the uh, ability to just kind of switch to any old Pokemon. That, that down B is actually a really big deal. Uh, you know, being in disadvantage state, you kind of need it because all of the Pokemon don't really have great disadvantage states. Uh, I mean, Ivysaur, like, has his down air, but I mean, slows you down. It could get you in trouble. And I like what I'm seeing here right now. Squirtle just completely took over the neutral. Yeah, getting a little bit of rushdown action from Sweet Tea as he puts on some numbers on Terrazzo. Mm, being a little impatient with that Water Gun, too. But I definitely think Water Gun is a great tool in this matchup. Okay, great job avoiding all of that trappage with that, uh, that turn up being a factor. Now we're making good use of Charizard as well. Okay, just cycle through and let's get Ivysaur back out on stage. Oh, very unfortunate. Just recovering a little bit too low, and Raza gonna forfeit that stock. Mm -hmm. You saw how he went, like he he went into Water Gun just to switch into Ivysaur immediately after. That's a thing that you can do. You just press any old B button, and then you can. Uh, it immediately allows you to Ooh. go back into uh, Pokemon Switch. Okay, Razor leaves to recover to cover the recovery. Yep. Okay. Thought we were gonna see a down tilt there to try to two frame. There's that down tilt. He's like, ah, I, I could have done that. Oh, missing that forward tilt, though. Oh, back air is going to put a lot of pressure, but Nair out of shield is such a good option for the princesses. Mm hmm, it is. Okay. And Ivysaur isn't too bad either. Saw him try to get that cross up a little earlier, but he just did not have the spacing that he needed. Good up tilt. That up tilt only hits uh, from behind. You cannot hit that up tilt from the front. Oh, using the Pokemon Switch to a quick air dodge. Oh, that's a death. Oh, and he wasted his uh, water gun, I think. That's okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah, he's been uh, pretty accurate with those Razor Leafs to try to contest those. Uh, look at that, man. He's getting it all the time. It's probably frustrating Razo a little bit. I mean, not being able to set up your turnips can be a little frustrating, but we do see Razo able to clean up the first stock. Mm. Oh, easy 30 damage. Turn up to forward air all day. Oh, yeah. But a Sweet Tea is just really able to just control this neutral here. Okay, Water Gun charged up, ready to go. Mm. You know, both of these characters have a pretty safe side B on shield as well. I, I think Peaches might be a little more so, but <laughs> uh, you shielded a, a side B from Squirtle lately. It's annoying. Good job getting those iframes before the, uh, the turnip can hit him. Hey, getting that downer as well. Oh, I think uh, Sweet Tea went a little overboard with that. Yeah, he did. Now he's getting hurt. Hey, yeah, we're just going to be able to tether right back to the stage. That, uh, the up B from Ivysaur is pretty good distance. Oh, yeah, big time. It's not quite Joker tier where you can do it from behind, but uh, it's still pretty good. Okay, we see that the the Vine Whips at the ledge finally getting punished from, from Sweet Tea. Mm, that parasol so good. Uh oh, yeah. oh, good Pokemon Switch. That's like best dodge in the game. It really is. It really is. I think it's frame one. It's it's very sick. You can see it. Is it back throw? Okay. Yeah, the old yeet throw. It's a pretty strong back throw, too. It'll kill you fairly early. Oh, with Sweet Tea at 72%. He's approaching that death percent. Yeah, he even, is. Even as a uh, Ivysaur. Okay. Not a Charizard. Ooh, big yeah. boy coming in. Not a Charizard. Of course, you know, Charizard going to have... <gasps> gonna have access to all those kill setups. But oh my god, dude, he's at kill he's at kill percent. Oh god, Squirtle's been at kill percent years ago, but he also has a yeet back throw and took out the Razo. All right, so it's two one, and I'm guessing these are semis because the the boys are still sitting there. Yeah, this is semis. Okay, the first set of semis, and I think it's going to be Charlie the King and Master Mario on the other side of semis. Right on, right on. Yeah, you know, I, I think that was actually kind of a cool pick going into Squirtle there. Uh, he probably wasn't expecting that grab. He was probably thinking, oh, he'll go back to Ivysaur or something. I nope. was expecting him to go back to Ivysaur. Yeah, that was too. I, I actually forget that both of these characters have a really good back throw. I think Ivysaur is a little stronger. but uh, Must be nice having three characters have kill throws. Yeah, buddy. Must be nice. Okay, no surprise here. Pokemon trainer sticking it out. I think we're running it back to the same stage, aren't we? Uh, I did not see. Yes, it is. Right. In fact, final Omega version of Corneria, I believe. Mm. All right. Yeah, not getting any of the water. There's that water gun, yeah. And the really cool thing about Squirtles is that no matter what happens, if you die, whatever happens, you will always have that water gun just kind of sitting there ready to go. 
Ooh, right now he's taking so much damage. He's a kill percentage for sure. <laughs> Brazo tried to take that one out. That up smash, nope. Oh, but Sweet Tea just corner carrying Razo, tacking on 40 damage along the way. Mm. Yeah, I was just about to say, like, regardless of how much damage Squirtle does or how many true combos he has, he has serious carry. Uh, with his mobility being what it is, he will drag you. Yeah, he's kind of a bully. He just pushes you wherever he wants you to go. Mm hmm. Especially oh. that water gun. Oh, too. Toad, get some damage in. Oh, yeah. Toad is DLC for sure. Oh, okay, we might switch. Okay, we're not switching to the Charizard. Yeah, you got to believe in that up B from uh, Ivysaur. There is that switch, okay. But uh, Ivy's, uh, uh, Charizard's definitely a kill percentage. Yeah, with the back air of, of all things. Retreating to the ledge. Okay, wow. Getting the re-grab and the reset. Look at how quick back throw. Look at how much damage is already done in such a small amount of time. Okay, getting that forward air. Forward air really is the bee's knees for this character. Oh, and he got the landing up air. That was sick. And what's ironic was that both players were actually trying to winding up their forward airs. It just Sweet Tees came out a little bit sooner. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. I think uh, Razo got a nice little hit on him there, and that just uh, stunned Sweet Tea enough. And look at where we are. Not getting the punish. Yeah, making it back. Just grabbing the ledge a little bit too early. Razo looking for that ledge trump. Mm. Falling down with the down air is going to let him take back stage control and just really shark Charizard's landing. Mm. You know, at this point, it's kind of like Ooh. you can switch to Squirtle because it's like no matter where or which Pokemon you pick, you're just going to die at any old good attack. Yeah, just like that one. Uh, sometimes you do want to just switch to Squirtle and just get as much damage as you can, and then when you do die, you go to Ivysaur, and you're kind of ready to go. But do you really want to start as Ivysaur coming off of Fresh Stock? You usually see Sweet Teas really utilizing uh, Squirtle at these lower percents. Yeah, he is. Yeah, it all depends on uh, how they start to act to uh, what it is that you're doing. But Squirtle seems to consistently do well. Okay, ooh, barely within the back air, but you know what? It's punish time. Yeah, back air and a B, that's real. Mind Whip is so strong, but a wake of attack from the ledge. It's gonna get Raza away from that ledge. Now forward throw, getting a little bit of toad action. Yeah, finally getting a turn up on him too. Yeah, it's pretty valuable when you consider how many of those turnips have been negated by that side B. Oh, oh a forward smash catching the so Daisy Bomber. So sweet. Yeah, that's one of the that's a really good ledge trapping tool because he just retracts so far back. It's it's definitely one of those tricky moves. Ah, oh, that uh, that crown baby taking him out. That JV two. That's right. Three one Razo. Of course, now Razo is advancing to winners finals. Oh. He's waits his next challenger in Valhalla. I mean, Wednesday Night Fights. <laughs> <laughs> eh, what's the difference? Well, we don't have any Vikings around here. And we got Master Mario. Master Mario and who again? Charlie the King. Charlie the King. Some more wolf action. Oh, yeah. I'm expecting Mario from Master Mario, of course. Master Mario. With a name like Master Mario, you shouldn't really.